Hello, I'm Brian Young. Uh, I'm uh, the senior editor of uh, Asia Pacific for Script Farmer Intelligence. Uh, with me today is uh, Dr. Chen. Uh, Dr. Chen uh, is uh, head of R&D for Chengdu-based Heitjin, a uh, China startup company. Uh, so, Dr. Chen, welcome to the interview. Thank you. And uh, can you introduce uh, your company to us, please? So, Heitjin is a chemistry technology based, uh, based uh, company. So, basically, we build the DNA encoded libraries and uh, take advantage of that library. Uh, we, on the one hand, we provide a service to uh, the industry, pharma, uh, surgical company, or, and the biotech company. On the other hand, we use this technology to drive our internal programs to, uh, do, the drug, to do the drug discovery. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you just uh, give us more details about how uh, the discovery, uh, drug discovery work with your uh, platform technology? Uh, so, you know, the, one of the big advantages for the DNA encoder library is that when we screen uh, our library, we not only get one hit, uh, we get basically a serious hit. Sometimes we can gain the clear the ICR information so that's allow us to quickly drive the medicinal chemistry forward. So basically we can drive the uh, drug discovery program faster. And uh, of course in the China, you can at a much lower cost. So can you give us some uh, 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 progress since you, the company was started? And uh, so basically, I think it was a couple of years ago, we pick out a few targets to, on the one hand, we want to drive the drug discovery program forward. On the other hand, we want to validate our libraries, right? So basically, we start uh, uh, HDAC programs. Uh, so we was able to drive the, uh, this program probably in less than two years, uh, very close to R&D. We plan to fire R&D this year. So that's a, a big achievement for us. So very, very uh, big achievement. Can you tell us uh, about uh, uh, this uh, A and D uh, uh, compound? Uh, what's it gonna be? How it's gonna be? What's the mechanism? Uh, uh, so this compound is a pan HDAC inhibitor uh, compared to uh, other companies' uh, pan HDAC inhibitor. Uh, we think it's a, it's a very potent. It's almost equal to the most important compound on the market from the Lovatis. Uh, but we think we uh, have a better uh, toxicity profile. So we are uh, probably go after the uh, liver cancer disease uh, because that's a very important uh, disease in China, especially in China. And so, yeah, so we, we will go that field first. And uh, can you tell us, since you are based in Chengdu, mm -hmm. And, uh, and most of uh, other startup companies in China are based in either Shanghai or Beijing. Uh, why do you choose uh, Chengdu? Oh, okay. So I think uh, uh, our uh, CEO, Jin, Dr. Jin Li, uh, he was originally from Chengdu, uh, Sichuan. And so also uh, Chengdu actually gave a lot of support to the biopharmaceutical uh, industry now. So also we have a uh, uh, talent available in that city. So I think it's a good place to start a biotech company now. And uh, do you think that Chengdu will be making bigger uh, in terms of uh, biotech uh, startup? Uh, right now is a uh, the biotech industry in Chengdu is uh, in very rapid development. So I think uh, it, it does attract a lot of investors and uh, uh, entrepreneurs to that area now. I understand that there are some bio clusters uh, in Chengdu. Uh, do you think uh, the local government has a lot of support? Oh yes, the local government did uh, and uh, right now give a lot of support to the biotech companies. Can you talk about your partnerships? Uh, 
Right now, we work very closely uh, to a lot, a lot uh, top uh, pharmaceutical companies. Uh, we just signed a deal with the Pfizer, including the target screening and uh, lab, uh, laboratory, uh, lab, uh, laboratory uh, building for them. So we also announced collaboration with uh, Merck and Johnson Johnson. So yeah, we have a lot of uh, partners who work with them now. And uh, how about the financing? We are doing pretty well. And so I uh, think uh, uh, last year uh, we almost break the even. And this year, we, in the first quarter, the, the, the amount uh, we have, the income we have already su suppressed la surpassed last year. Wow, so. that's quite uh, yeah, very important. Yeah. And how about the, uh, the future plans? Uh, so basically, we are continue to develop this technology, and uh, we try to reach the, uh, the the size of the library. We want to reach uh, uh, 10, 100 billion this year. Uh, of course, the ten trillion is the goal for us. So uh, we all, we also want to drive the internal programs forward. Uh, we want to build up our internal pipeline. So move forward. And uh, do you think uh, you will ramp up more partnerships? Uh, yes, we will. And uh, what are you looking for when you come to this uh, partnering event? Uh, we are looking for the pro uh, we are looking for uh, two kinds of partnership. Uh, one is for the library. Uh, basically, we want to provide this kind of new technology technology to to the industry. Try to uh, convince them to use our technology to help them to do their drug discovery. And on the other hand, we want to looking for a partner for our internal programs. You know, we want to uh, sh share w what we have with them and basically try to um, see what we can do and to move this program forward. And uh, how about, uh, you know, what, what do you think of the conference so far? That's great. I really enjoy it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank for you very much. Time. All right, thanks.